Hello, this is Stan from GPT for Sheets and Docs, and I will teach you how to use the temperature uh, in the GPT functions of our add-on. So, uh, just to so that you guys know what I'm talking about, when you start typing GPT here, and uh, you will see a temperature parameter that is optional, right? Uh, same thing in Google Docs here. If I launch the add-on. you will see the temperature parameter here and you can edit it. So what is it? Well, let's go uh, to the official OpenAI Playground to explain. As you can see, there is a temperature parameter here that you can vary between zero and one. So the word temperature was invented by OpenAI and for now in the add-on, we have decided to stick with the official, official vocabulary and not rename it to creativity, for example, even though temperature can be um, equated to creativity. So if you put it at zero, it will basically uh, usually give you the same or almost the same answer every time you ask the same question. Whereas if you uh, crank it out to one, it will give you uh, more creative and also different answers every time. Let's try it. So here I will type the suggested prompt, write a tagline for a nice cream shop. Okay, I submit, cool down with our delicious treats. Okay, I will regenerate it and I get exactly the same thing. As you can see, I have temperature zero. So I can do it again and again and again. And every time I get the same thing. Now, if I put it up to zero, let's say 0 0.5, let's try again. Okay, I got a bit different here. Cool down with our creamy creations. I'm going to regenerate. Treat yourself to something sweet. Again, uh, different. Cool off with our delicious ice cream. A little bit different as well. And now I will crank it up to one. a scoop of happiness for every sweet tooth. So as you can see here, not only did I get a different answer, it's also more creative in itself. Um, again, lick it up, the creamiest ice cream around. So again, like as you can see with a temperature of one, the answers are radically different between each other and they're also more creative uh, themselves. So you can use this parameter depending on what you're looking for. Uh, to your advantage. So let's try it now in GPT for Sheets. So if I do, if I start typing GPT, first of all, what you need to know, so the temperature is the third parameter, right? Um, and it will be zero by default. So I need to uh, type a prompt. Actually, I'm gonna type the prompt directly in the cell. So write a tagline for an ice cream shop. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, just do this. So as you can see, I got exactly the same answer that I had gotten in the playground was when temperature was set to zero. Here, I did not set the parameter because it is by default zero, but I would get exactly the same result if I set it to zero. So you, the value parameter is also optional, so you do not, you can choose to leave it empty and then you can put zero here and it will recalculate and I, I will get the same thing. Okay, and if I drag this, I should get the same. Oops, I made a mistake. I need to fix, sorry, one second. I need to fix this cell here so that when I drag, the prompt stays the same. Okay. And you see, every time I get the same thing. So <laughs> with this, prompt here, um, write a tagline for an ice cream shop at zero of temperature, I always get the same. Now let's say that I change the temperature to zero, to one, okay? I'll go to one directly. Cool down with a scoop of deliciousness. Okay, I got something different and now I'm going to drag it again and we'll see what I get. Okay, as you can see, they're all different and creamy treats for all, taste the difference, our creamy delicious ice cream, 
etc., etc. And all of them are a little bit more creative or even much more creative than the one I got before uh, in and of themselves. So it's very easy to play with the temperature. One is very creative, zero is not creative at all, and uh, 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 will be uh, slightly uh, less creative than one, okay? Uh, in Google Docs, it would be exactly the same, except you would put your uh, temperature here. So if I put one here, and again, I will copy paste this prompt here into uh, here. Okay, submit, and there you go. And then I can uh, do it again. And I get a new one that's uh, creative and different. And now if I put it to zero, I will do it again. Actually, like, I'm gonna teach you something, you can just click here reuse and click submit and I got again the, the cooldown with delicious ice cream cookies that I got uh, the first time okay sorry I forgot to add a prompt in here so I just tried to continue the text here but if I reuse it uh, reuse we do the same and then I have a zero temperature. I'll actually like remove all of this, it's not needed. I'm just gonna click on submit. And I get, again, this uh, normal prompt. So, uh, I think that's it. Um, I hope you understand. Do not hesitate to ask questions in the comments. I will be happy to answer them and see you guys in the next video where I will explain uh, the max tokens parameter.